Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. Okay, Billy, for this one, I am super excited. We're headed up to Bountiful, which is, I think, one of the best places in the whole state to buy real estate because it's in right here in a gated community sitting right on the top of the mountain overlooking the entire valley down there. This is a spectacular property. So excited about it. Yeah, the landscape, I mean, even right off the bat, landscaping is beautiful. They put Bright a lot colors. of time, money and effort into the landscaping in the views from the property. You're right up on top of this gated community and you're looking over the entire valley. And it, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's a property that I personally would love to have. The next property I buy, I really want to have a view. And so oh, this yeah, one absolutely. comes to me and I, I think you know, I want to, <laughs> my next property and look at the inside it's so beautiful yes the the layout of this house is really pretty so they they had a, a family member uh actually drop these plants it's very unique it's very but it's very charming you can see these nice open spaces we got the perfect walls to come through and overlooks from upstairs and they built it around the views which i always like and the when you get a lot like this you really want to build the house around the lot take a look at that beautiful designer kitchen yeah that is a ton of cabinet space yeah, very tasteful, very well done. They've got right outside that window right there, they've got a waterfall that comes down and it just, and so you hear the sound of water running through the house. Oh, that's awesome. It's just so charming. You and just the, don't see a lot. I mean, I, I again, I know I mentioned the cabinets, but you just don't see a lot of space like that in newer built houses. They don't because cabinets are so expensive. And so that when you see builders, when they're building, they're trying to cut down on cabinets because that's where a lot of expenses. Minimizing the cost. Yeah. yeah, minimizing cost. So a house like this where they, they were weren't worried about cost. These guys built this for themselves, but now there's too much house for them. They're going to scale down. And so it's perfect. It's got the master on the main floor right here, right off the side, right here. Here's the master, nice, oh, yeah. beautiful master. And there's, there's a house that's off to the, I would guess you'd consider it would be the the south of the property, but the way they designed the house, you wouldn't even know it's there because all the windows and everything in the master bath and everything is just completely, it still allows light, but it's, it's and aim towards the views and yeah. take advantage of where it is on that hill. It's, it's yeah. really a charming property. And again, I can't stress enough the way that they, the, when they designed this plan, they thought about that lot and how they're going to all bring it together. It also has interesting enough. They've got, they built it. So it's got, um, elevator access, oh, okay. which they haven't added oh, in cool. yet, but it's got space from the, from the lower level all the way to the top to add an elevator in. Fantastic. Yeah. And so this it's a could be term home, you know, yeah. Cause a lot of people, there's those views I was talking about oh, from the beautiful. upper deck. And so you can still look out of the views, even from upstairs. And so you're walking down the hallways into the, and so really charming home. So we're getting into almost 5,000 square feet with five bedrooms and five baths. Uh, it was built originally in uh, 2005. It has a three car garage, the access right in, like I said, a gated community, which never goes out of style and lots of bedrooms. And as we're going down here, we're going down to the lower level right here, but notice sold a ton of windows. Think about this. And here's your home theater. Yeah. And in a 2005, like you mentioned house, this theater is not 2005. No, this is, that is super cool. So nice, right? Well, yeah. they redid everything. They've been, you know, kind of keeping up with the times and keeping the, the house relevant, but the location never goes out of style. It's one of my, I think it's one of the best values you can buy in real estate is right up around the top, right up by Eaglewood Golf Course. It's a really nice area. You get the views, you get it really close to downtown. Um, beautiful, uh, beautiful. Look at the backyard. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I just got to stop. There's where the fountain is. You can see the water running yep. into the backyard. And you know, this property is perfect for people, you know, like myself, I mean, I have pets and I don't, you know, having a backyard that's a little bit, a little bit secluded is, is, yeah. is very, very hard to find right now. Hey, 
it's just beautiful rock work and their deck it's a spectacular product i'm really proud of this one and there's some of those views that you'd be looking out of right from your gated community and one of the best values only 130 dollars a square foot this it's is amazing. a real good property okay becky for this one looks like we're headed out to west jordan right yes this darling little house was built in 2005 and it's tucked away on a quiet little cul-de-sac just off 7800 south and 2700 west so you're really close to schools and shopping but not so close that you can hear any of the road noise um, it's just a quiet little neighborhood super clean property one thing I, I can't help but notice well 2005 is not that long ago that's why because this property I mean it looks darling. It is. It's got, you know, vinyl windows. The laminate floors run from the living room into the kitchen. Um, and the sellers have also added laminate flooring upstairs as well as new carpet. Um, and the kitchen is loaded with cabinetry, but all of the appliances in the kitchen are really new as well. And they've got a really nice double oven and glass top range. Wow. Definitely a huge upgrade. That's really, really nice work. Yeah, and then on this floor, you've also got the half bath right off the garage where you want it, and that is a two-car garage. Yeah, and the, which is, is uh, these properties are, are just really nice. They're traditional. It's a classic two-story, which never goes out of style. And take a look at the size of the master bedroom. It's, it's huge. I know. Isn't that nice? So you have a little bit of extra space to just add a living space if you wanted to. You know, you could put a desk in there. Um, just kind of close the door off and have your own adult space. Yeah, which is so nice because this is the way they're building new construction now with these huge masters. Right. And a lot of time we get into a little bit older home and they just not built that way. They call it functional obsolescence, but they got it covered here, a huge master bedroom. But it's still got uh, one of the things I like also is the laundries upstairs where all the bedrooms are, which is just the way it should be done. Yeah, and you still have the big master with a separate tub and shower, lots of closet space. The closets are ample in this house as well yeah it looks like there's room to finish out in the basement so if you want to expand and make the home bigger or if you just want to use the storage space you leave it just that way right right you could put a living room down there or family area you can also do a, an, another bedroom you could do two bedrooms um, it's a really good space yeah, nice little fence backyard. And look at that covered patio down the back. And they got places where they can uh, block the sun from going down in the afternoon. Good use of space in that backyard. It's Very a nice. Great use of space. It's really just a peaceful spot. Um, like I said, super quiet, great neighborhood. Yeah. Really close to parks and schools. So, very nice. A little cul de sac in West Jordan. Beautiful property. People aren't insurance experts. Shoot, most of the time they don't know what coverage they have or even who their agent is. It's okay. It's not your job to be an insurance nerd. It's mine. I even have the glasses and sweater vest. As your personal insurance nerd, my staff of nerds and I are excited and eager to get nerdy about your insurance. Your coverage is important and so is the price. We understand that. Let us get nerdy about the details. If you're looking for the cheapest price from some online company regardless of coverage, you've got the wrong nerd. Now, if you're looking for a personal relationship with a local insurance nerd who cares about covering you and your family and that your cat's name's Fluffy, I'm your nerd. Give us a call or shoot us an email. If we don't answer right away, it's because we're deep in the nerdiness with another client. Don't worry, we'll get right back to you. We always do. Kai Tanner, Farm Bureau Insurance. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. So Billy, tell me about your Vets for Vets program. 
Yeah, so I'm a vet myself, Jay, and it's, you know, it's one of those benefits that there's so much bad information out there um, spread around in the VA world that I just really want to try to dispel some of that information and make sure our veterans are, are really getting the real info. I mean, I've done my own VA loans, purchased a few homes doing that. I've done thousands of VA loans throughout my career. Um, so I've seen it from all sides, and I've seen, you know, how much information is out there, um, and we just want to make sure that our vets are, are getting taken care of properly. Because a VA loan is one of the very best loans. If you get the opportunity to do that if you're a vet you get this opportunity great loan and there's a lot of dis a lot of bad information out there a loan officer might take a class hear about it but don't really have a lot of experience and there's really something to work with somebody like yourself that really understands it right yeah absolutely there's a lot of things that can go wrong in a VA loan there's a lot of information that goes into the appraisals and the requirements even of the home you know um, so on that kind of thing is is making sure that you're you're going in and you're looking at a property that's even gonna work for VA in the beginning is a big step right um, so yeah we just want to make sure that number one they understand what the benefit is right and why it's better than the other loans how to use it and then you know obviously what things to look out for during the process okay Billy for this one we're headed down to Provo and talk about a beautiful property look at the this one was originally built in 18, like 89, but look at, it looks like brand new, right? Yeah. 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 This house is beautiful, especially, I mean, you never know that it was that old. Yeah. But they, uh, obviously the foundation was built back then, but you can see they've gone and completely redone the property. Uh, it, one of the nice things about this one, which is totally unique, right down by BYU in Provo, right on 300 South, is you walk in, it's set up as a duplex, but it was not, it's not legal as a duplex it would be considered a mother-in-law apartment. And so as you walk in that front door right there, you've got your kitchen and your bedroom off the back and then the bathroom behind that on the one side. And then the other side, you come in around the back of the property, you go in through the kitchen, it's got your front room and then you go upstairs and it's got a couple of bedrooms up there. Yeah, this is this is a like a college, you know, graduate's first home dream. You have you know, buy, buy the place. And, you know, I mean, we have the grant programs available and on this property, I mean, you're looking at about $12,000 for free to come in and buy this and then have, you know, some other, other students come in and rent the other side. And yeah, it's, it's great. What an opportunity in, in Provo near BYU and everything else. It's fantastic. Yeah, and uh, uh, obviously there's there's a bunch of different ways you could live in it. You could have all bedrooms to yourself or have a family member on the one side, but they've set it up. But notice the inside, how clean it is. They've come in and completely redone the property. And so everything is nice, clean. It's on a big lot. It's almost on a, it's just under a third of an acre on the lot. Yeah, and there's and a lot of parking. I yeah, noticed as well, which parking. is nice. Yeah. And as we're going upstairs, you're going to notice that uh, all the clean lines and everything that they put in here, new flooring, new vanities, everything. And I mean, you're talking under $300,000 for a property like this right near BYU. I mean, that's nice. No, uh, yeah, it's been, it's fantastic. It's a steal. It obviously was built a long time ago, but as we're looking through the picture, uh, the video, you can just tell that, I mean, they've, they've redone the whole property. Yeah, so they've done a great a, job. The house looks awesome. Just so nice. I mean, and it's charming too. I mean, it's one thing when you get these older homes like this, but then they go through and make them so nice and it's just charming, just beautiful lines and beautiful windows. It's a great location. BYU is not going anywhere last time I checked. No, but I don't think so. <laughs> no. And so, and they, they're talking, they're, they're, there's some reports coming that they're saying that uh, Utah County is going to double in size. Oh. And so the need for housing is going to go through the roof down there. So this is a real value. Buy this now and a ton of appreciation coming your way. Okay, Billy, for this one, we're headed out to Taylorsville and you want to talk about a beautiful property. This one was actually built a little while ago, but look at how clean, I mean, it looks like a brand new home. Yeah, yeah, it's a really pretty house. The color is great. The yard looks awesome. Good landscaping, really pretty house. Yeah, they've really cared for this. It's on a nice little quiet cul-de-sac up there right in Taylorsville, which is a beautiful little uh, community right in the Salt Lake Valley. And as you walk in, it's got this nice little front little entry area. Yeah, it's very pretty, really uh, kind of classic and open. Yeah, it's really, really pretty house. 
nice little property here. So on this one, we're going to be getting into about 23, almost 2,400 square feet with four bedrooms and four baths. It's on 0.17 acres, but the acreage, it comes across a lot bigger. The backyard is beautiful. I mean, it's got really beautiful landscaping. Of course, these properties, these are so nice as we're looking on the main floor here. Of course, it's got the kitchen and kind of a great room and lots of windows to look outside and lots of natural light. Yeah, the light's great. That's, I mean, that's definitely a big thing for me is, uh, is you know, you feel less secluded in your house, right? Yeah. You get, get some, from, some fresh views. Yeah, the seller loves a fireplace. One of the things they like most about this fireplace, the fireplace will le uh, heat the whole house and it's got a scenting material that you can put in there and add a scent to the whole house through the fireplace. Oh, wow. All yeah, right. kind of cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So uh, obviously, as we're looking through here, it's got really nice caps. It's laid out really well. These guys have lived here for about 30 years and really love this property. You can tell when somebody takes pride in ownership and they love it and they're going to go move on to their forever home. And so they're leaving this one, which is going to leave a great opportunity for somebody. Oh yeah. I would have never guessed Jay. I mean, this, the, just looking at, at this video, this house is very well taken care of. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about what's really important when we get into these properties is let's talk about financing because financing is always a good one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, for these, for these properties in this, in this price range, you know, your, your 350 round price range, um, there are a handful of great programs. Um, including, you know, a, a grant program that, that most buyers aren't aware of. You, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. And on average on this property, you're going to get about $13,000 for free to cover your entire down payment to, to buy a, a house like this. And that's incredible. And so is that a program where you have to then pay it back or they're putting a lien on your property or something like that? No, it's actually absolutely free money. The day that you close is the day that you have three and a half percent equity. It's a standard FHA loan. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, do I need, you know, a 700 something credit score? Um, no, 620 credit score minimum. It's, it's a fantastic program. Which is so nice. So literally you could sell it the next day and, and you don't have to pay it back or anything. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's no lien on title for, for that down payment. It's literally free grant money. It's great. Which is so nice because you get into these really nice properties like this. They're so available. And we've got these people that are renting in the marketplace are like, do I sit and wait for a down payment? Our market's going up. This is a great opportunity to get in and buy a beautiful property and you get your, uh, your gift to your grant and down payment. And so you can, I mean, you can buy a beautiful property like this. And oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, by the time your average consumers, you know, starts at ground zero to save, you know, 13 to $15,000. You know the the housing market out here has already gone up 10 percent they've already you know they've yeah. already absorbed you know more than that in just the inflation so yeah take advantage of these programs it's you know stop renting and, and getting in and telling this this house is, this house is awesome yeah, isn't this beautiful look at yeah, this backyard it's great it's absolutely amazing it's got big rv star uh, storage all down the side where you can fit a boat a big truck and of course it's got the two-car garage that's attached i mean here are four bedrooms and four baths nice little the way it sits in the afternoon the sun sets on the other direction so you got shade in the back look at those big mature trees it's hard to go wrong with this Stop paying for credit repair that doesn't work. The old ways of repairing credit are doing more damage than good. We have a free proven system that we've used for over 15 years to help people increase their scores easier and faster. So whether you have dinged credit or you have good credit that you want great, give us a call. homes for everyone. Everyone needs a home and at Real Estate Essentials anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate team. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. Hey Jay, well this week we're going over to a very popular area here in the St. George area. It's called Bloomington Country Club. Kind of prestigious. Um, there's actually a country club and golf course and so forth over in this area. But look at the mountains behind this backyard, Jay. Yeah, just massive and those big, huge, beautiful trees. Really nice contrast and the house that sits right perfectly between the two. 
It does. And the house is really kind of private because it's on a nice cul-de-sac over there. And yet it's close to everything. You can, you can ride bikes. You can ride ATVs. You can go to golf courses like any of those, like within five minutes from this place. Yeah, so the location's really good. Golf clubs never go out of style, right? And as we're looking at this, got some beautiful fireplace and, and there's the kitchen right off that main area. Yep, and this house, the plan is probably a Northern Utah, Salt Lake City plan. Uh, it has that kind of split entryway, but that affords you having some better views from the upstairs portion of the house. And this house, the, uh, the owner, a few years ago, took this down to almost studs, Jay, and then came completely back up and remodeled and rebuilt the house. So this thing is all finished, tuned up, and ready to go. Yeah, very, very nice. As we're looking through here at the different bedrooms, lots of light, which I like. You notice a lot of windows in the, in the property. A lot of windows. Um, it's also got a new AC. It's got the updated paint, updated doors, really, really plush carpet. And to your point, always has a shade as well in the summertime. Yeah, and uh, those trees are just right in the right area to kind of block that sun as it gets hot in the afternoon. It just cools that house down nicely, I'm sure. And the, the Bloomington area is really, really popular for uh, golf, hiking, and ATVing. So you can literally, from this place, you can hop on your ATV and ride, or you can ride your bike over to a number of uh, mountain biking trails. So really great location if you're outdoor oriented and into those types of things. Yeah, and of course, a lot of people down there in St. George, that's just such one of the really nice things about that location is all the outdoor living in the good weather throughout the year, which is so, so nice. Yep, so solid house, really beautifully remodeled, ready to move into, and great, great views from the house. Yeah, beautiful property, John. If somebody wanted more information or they wanted to talk to you, how would they reach out to you? Sure, they call us at our 800-206-1003 or they can go to our website, aimsteamutah.com. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Hi Jay, here we are at 3320 Horse Thief Drive in the Heber Valley, and this is in the Wild Mare subdivision. Talk about some big, beautiful properties. This is, it looks like people have got a lot of uh, a lot of real estate out there. They do. So this property is over on over an acre, and as you can tell, mature landscaping, and the landscaping is exquisite. Yeah, very, very nice. You can see all those mature trees, and it looks like there's some horse property in this area. There is. Uh, so this area is zoned for horses. Um, and as we go around this property, this property really, like I mentioned, the exquisite landscaping is what makes it stand out. Absolutely. Yeah. But as we're going inside, you can tell they, they've really decorated, they've really designed this property well. It's absolutely stunning. It is. They've done a lot of upgrades to this home. As you notice, you'll notice the white wainscot coating throughout the home. It shows beautifully. and. As we go through, you can't see some of the upgrades that they've done that are behind the scenes. So mechanicals, um, they actually have uh, a tankless water heater. They've got new, newer furnaces. Um, they really take care of this home. Yeah, I really like that big kitchen. And then it opens up. And so somebody's in the kitchen, they can still be conversating with people that are all through the, you know, this other level of the home, which is really nice. Absolutely. It's a great home for entertaining. You can have your separate spaces, but still uh, interact between the rooms. You've got the kitchen, the great room. You've got this great office right there on that level as well. Uh, the home, it shows very well. Yeah, and you can tell those windows, they got those nice, big, bright windows. You can see the mature trees. Every time you're looking at out a window, you can see these beautiful trees outside. It's just, just really classy, really stylish. They have, and that's another thing they upgraded. They upgraded the windows. So it's always, you come into a home and you're always wondering, well, what do I have to do with this home? Or what do, what do I need to fix? And believe me, this home is re move in ready. And it shows beautifully and pretty much everything is done where you can just move right in. Yeah, and the Heber Valley itself is growing uh, significantly right now. And so properties like this are becoming very, very valuable. 
Absolutely, especially when we talk about it's on an acre of property. Um, the Heber Valley is getting smaller and smaller as people move in. I believe it's the fourth fastest growing county in the United States. Um, and so, yeah, property is becoming more and more valuable. And this is nice because the landscaping, you really feel secluded um, on this acre of land because of all that mature landscaping. And then as we continue on the upstairs, there's plenty of space here. So you've got four bedrooms on this level, and then you have a den area as well on this upper level. That's over top of that three car garage that we saw earlier. Yeah, very nice. Clean, classy styles. I really like their the hardwood floors they put in. There's cabinets that all been really nicely done. It's a really, it's a standout property. This is something that somebody's really gonna enjoy. Absolutely, Jay. And as we go through the home, again, you'll notice that wainscoting. You also notice the hardwood flooring throughout. Um, again, it goes back to this home is moving ready for someone. Absolutely. Yeah, I really like those floors and the way they set it off with that Wayne's coating on there and that little bit of little, little the colors they put in here. Oh, it looks like we're going down to the lower level here and they've got a little kitchenette down here. They do. Actually, that's a full kitchen. So you have a full kitchen downstairs mm -hmm. um, with a nice little area uh, that's a walkout as well. And then there's another bedroom and theater room, basically, that's all at your disposal. So it's almost like a great mother-in-law that can be used if you need that extra space for extra family members. Yeah, very nice. There's a little home theater area. Yeah, this, I mean, this is perfect. You've got your living area upstairs and you've got somebody that comes back, but take a look, we're walking outside and you wanna talk about a beautiful backyard. This is amazing. This is the backyard that every neighbor is jealous of. And this is where you get family members to come here and get married. It's that awesome. Yeah, I love that pond, little waterfall going into it, all those mature trees. This is amazing. It's like you're out in the woods right in your own backyard. It is. It's awesome. You've got a patio there. You can see the multiple levels on the decks. Uh, you've got great covered area for your barbecue. You've got a fire pit in the backyard. Then you've got shed space. They use that one building for their gardening and plants. Uh, then they even have a whole another fenced in area where you could put a full garden in. It, it's beautiful. Yeah, an acre of property, beautifully landscaped like this in the Hebrew Valley. This is really something special.